All right, guys, just a quick one here, uh, kind of a PSA. So, just replaced the uh, center center controller there, and due to uh, the classic spilt drink on it, stopped working. It uh, would not acknowledge any buttons or rotary commands, and so you couldn't control anything there in the iDrive. It had trouble code that was permanent for uh, basically like an internal fault. So this is the controller module, and as you can see, we now have a couple two uh, trouble codes, and they are listed as permanent. And so what this uh, little video is about is to let you know that there is an extra step when installing these. Now, we do actually get operation and movement and acknowledgement. Uh, let's see, if we go to press media, and we go back to menu, everything is working as far as the perception, uh, and, and it actually is acknowledging, but we've got to get rid of this when we install one, and so uh, let's go ahead and get this, first of all, focused, <laughs> and see if we can get some coding done. Um, I will clear the codes for the rest of the vehicle first. And you have to have a maintainer on it when doing any programming or coding, which I've got there running, keeping the voltage stable. All right, so now that we've uh, cleared the codes, um, I didn't reread them, but I'm pretty sure we'll, we'll still have some coding faults backed out. Let's go ahead and check this option. Part of why I'm doing this, I, was, I want to see if uh, this launch tool can take care of the coding. All right, here we go. All right, clearly got a message saying successful. Let's back out programming and coding. I'm gonna cycle the key. We'll go back on and let's go. All right, no more trouble codes. And everything is good and operational. Now, again, it looks like it works out the box, but you just have to configure it and code it to the vehicle. Something that you might not think of, but uh, just a quick service reminder. All these vehicles that have modules and controllers and shifters and uh, climate control, everything has modules in it you want to configure it to the car you're installing it in and so this was just a heads up and this tool is able to do that along with many others in the market but part of it is to see if this one was able to do it and get the job done now I can move on and get this car done thank you for watching hope you learned something uh, that's it on this one